This video series will provide an introduction to the Dolby IMS 3000 web user interface. The overview is made up of four short videos. This is the second part of the video series, which will walk the user through the cinema audio and macros menus. The cinema audio menu consists of eight tabs. The first tab, Default Audio Configuration, allows the user to assign a specific EQ for each playback type, including internal DCP, HDMI, SDI, non-sync, or stream it playback. From the Auxiliary AES Inputs Outputs tab, the user can set the functions of the Auxiliary AES port. This port is used to input and output different types of digital signals. The AES input can be configured to none, non-sync, or microphone. The AES outputs can be configured for booth monitor, SMPTE sync, hearing impaired narration, or visually impaired narration. The Microphone tab allows custom audio delay, EQ, and output channel selection. The Equalization tab shows any of the configured or default EQs. From this page, the user can add or edit a specific configuration of equalization parameters. If an auto EQ has been completed, that configuration is read only. You can copy the parameters of auto EQ or any custom EQ and then make manual changes. If not using auto EQ, manual changes can be executed using the graphic EQ sliders. The Auditorium tab displays theater parameters such as room and screen size, elevation, and speaker configuration. Any speaker shown with an X means that the IMS 3000 internal crossovers are being used. The Routing tab displays the output routing channels identified by the digital or digital AES-3 icons. Analog outputs are not available on the IMS-3000. The Array Delays tab allows the manual configuration of the surround speaker array delays. If Auto EQ is run, the Dolby Atmos Designer software automatically creates the surround delay values and the checkbox Use Configuration File Values is selected. When this checkbox is unselected, the desired delay values can be manually entered and applied. From the Preferences tab, the Mute Fade Duration is controlled. Configure the duration of the Fade In or Fade Out via the Fader Increase and Decrease Adjuster. The IMS 3000 has the ability to bypass the center channel in the event of a blown driver. Center channel audio is mixed into left and right. Disable the bypass after the center channel has been repaired. The Macros menu is designed to create and execute macros within the IMS 3000 system. Select the Automation Queue tab to build automation queues such as Lamp On and Dowser Open, which can later be added to the show playlist. Trigger queues are defined input messages sent to the IMS 3000. These triggers can be associated with automation queues and are used in situations like a fire alarm. The Execute Now tab is a testing area where an installer can execute an automation queue to test its functionality. The Quick Controls tab provides the user with access to common manually executed automation queues, such as changing to an HDMI input or opening the dowser. This video completes part two of the Dolby IMS 3000 web UI overview. Continue the series of videos to learn more about the Dolby IMS 3000 web user interface.